procrastination never gonna help if you are planning to do certain things you should be on your toes i got selected in amazon and then sap labs and then barclays hi and welcome back to coding ninjas guys i'm kabir singh and i'm here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys so the company that we're going to be talking today is barclays and we have saurav with us to help us out with the interview experience so we'll be talking to him understanding how many rounds were there what all happened in each and every round as it was a campus placement for him so we'll try and understand what all he had to go through so that he can land up in a company like barclays so i hope you guys have fun and let's see how it goes hi saurav how are you doing hey hi kabir i'm good what about you i'm good i'm good hope saurav, you're doing well as well i am doing well thank you for asking saurav can you give me a small introduction about yourself and then we can hop on to the interview experience yeah yeah sure so basically myself saurav i am basically staying up in manchester right now but before that i was from bhubneshwar india so basically i studied in iit kharagpur mm-hmm. i did my graduation there in industrial and systems engineering so basically to coming up to the frontline question that you have asked like uh, about the interview experience so i have gone through the placement like the campus placement of iit kharagpur back in mm-hmm. 2020 so like the generic interview process for the, all the colleges like iit do follow the same procedure as mm-hmm. well like we have a setup like uh, coding rounds for all the companies coming up then after that on the particular day of the placement like for starting up from december we have uh-huh. this face to face interview carry out okay. uh, with the companies so basically i have uh, sat for like the coding test for few companies like sap lab barclays and all uh, and uh, i got selected in amazon and then sap labs and then barclays and the list like uh, you can say Keep four to five on. companies yeah yeah not exactly but yeah four to five luckily and then coming to the part where i have on day 2 i have interviewed uh, with barclays so there are basically three sub rounds in the first round and uh, before that i will be very uh, precisely mention the first round itself like what they asked in the coding round like the written coding round uh, so basically right. there are two questions one was there on the string algorithm and another was there on the graph you can say the level for the string one is of the medium and uh, the graph one is quite like the connecting the island kind of thing so it's, i will suggest it's easy so okay. apart from that there are few quantitative question like related to maths and statistics and a few english kind of thing like check your uh, vocab and grammatical things and all this very general right. question so that was the first round like the online interview so okay. sorry the online round then after clearing that we jumped into the face to face round in december just to stop you over here mm-hmm. before moving on yeah, what sure. was the actual difficulty of the entire round which you can say you know what would you rate the difficulty of to be for the entire round so i will rate it as a medium because there were certain good question in statistics if i come to that point like okay. a really good question like uh, you can use the there are certain books for it like hard on the street or fifty challenging problem in math, probability so mm-hmm. few questions are there so for that the round was a bit difficult and you have to clear cut off section for every round so for that to be right. uh, like then you can get selected in the entire round so for that i will say somewhat between easy to medium but far up like nearer to medium the okay. round level i can say cool. and coming to the face to face interview after clearing this round basically the first round was definitely for the dsa and algo round where they are checking your basic fundamentals about all the data structure they ask few questions like related to stack and queue and the second question was writing down on the paper kind of thing where he uh, like the interview asked me for the uh, dynamic programming question related to uh, one of the like you can say cutting stack or something okay. the very generic dy- any programming question and apart from that then the next round second round was completely on the networking operating system and oops but they generally focused more on the oops since barclays is a bank and they got their the like, software in full stack and apps as, as well so basically they want to check whether you understand the oops concept and you can utilize them in the api development as well so uh, for me it was second round was quite good because oops i am very good at oops so i just managed to clear it out very quickly then mm-hmm. the third round was basically the managerial round where uh, they gave a problem statement suppose there is some issue in the barclays app and you are being a manager how you gonna route 
uh, like this entire process right. if you uh, if your team is stuck and there are a lot of complaints like piling up from the customers and how you gonna resolve all these things together without any uh, like escalation and like what are the all steps you will need to do and and based on that they give you a score like how good you are and uh, you can then have a particular discussion about all the steps you said and they can also give you some inputs like how they are thinking so basically this round is basically how interactive you are with the interviewer and also is kind of sense how good you can be fit into the cultural part of the company Correct. so like that okay so if i will judge all the three rounds for the starting of the dsa and then the os networking and the managerial round it will somewhere again fall into the category of uh, easy to medium but almost in between you can say okay that's really nice and one last question before we wrap this interview experience out is as what would you recommend okay. or maybe advise your juniors and the people watching the video to do to get a good placement like you so i will really suggest to stick to the basics like uh, procrastination never gonna help if you are planning to do certain things you should be on your toes and uh, start preparing early the earlier the better they say and it's actually the fact okay if you are trying to target particular roles like in the software development you can't really avoid dsa and uh, the part where algorithms comes in so uh, there are certain platforms like uh, you can use coding ninja do provide a particular platform we can we can write codes and compile them you can take part in contest as well so it's a very good platform and apart from that you want to dive in more and then you can use lit code try to solve questions and for particularly right. that and apart from the second round with that i have mentioned like where you have been encounter with uh, like the problem related to networking or os or basically the system design system design is quite high but you can always use gigs for gigs for that okay and there are certain courses in coding ninjas as well and i guess uh, is going good as well so Correct. you can also opt in for that and these are the basic things for the software development role if you are looking to apply for that basically right. apart from that very basics don't get nervous prepare well i will say prepare early prepare well don't get mm -hmm. nervous and you're going to come up with flying colors that's Just great that's basic. great I really thank you Sora for giving us such a spectacular interview experience. Also guys if you yeah, want to read this enough. experience out I'll put a link in the description below that is the link to article written by Sora. So it's an article that he wrote for the same company interview experience you can solve the questions that he got you can have a look at whatever he has written and you can get a detailed uh, information about the interview experience. So I really thank you Sora and I hope you guys like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video hit the like button and the subscribe button. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding guys.